Okay, so with the half unexpected release of 2.2 in the month of December year 2023, a whole new variety of triggers in the editor were introduced. One of these triggers was called the sequence trigger. And for many of you unsuspecting level creators, your initial impression may have gone like this. Oh, it's a sequence trigger. Does that mean it executes groups in a sequence? That's cool. My spawn loops will be optimized greatly. And you'd be both right and wrong with that assumption. First things first, it does in fact execute each group in a sequence but not in the way you'd expect. Instead of calling the trigger just once, you're supposed to call it multiple times. So instead of it activating like this, it activates like this. What does that mean? It means you have to activate it like this. Oh, but Cypred, surely it isn't that bad, right? Wrong. Absolutely wrong. That makes the sequence trigger 1000% touch activation dependent. This makes it only good for platformer mode. Do I look like someone who makes platformer levels? Do I? Oh, but Cypred, you can just make spawn triggers activate. Then what's the point when you can just use the spawn triggers themselves? Oh, but Cypred, you can just- Do you have any idea how ugly that looks? Triaxis was trying to prove a point using Dear Nostalgists with how later updates resulted in better levels than earlier earlier versions, but if this is what I'm forced to do in the newest version of the game, you're better off trying to convince me to play Blue Archive instead. I'm placing this at an F tier.